What is up, MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. Well, I, I finally did it, per the request of everyone that likes when I go out and catch giant fish. I'm back at the Slaunch Factory here. I'm at the lake where myself and Mr. Stash Man that uh, I fished previously a couple years ago that I knew there was some smallmouth in here, but we caught our personal best smallmouth through the ice, four and five pounders. There's absolute freaking behemoths back there. So that is where we're doing our fishing today. Porn Stash will be here actually in about an hour or so. I'm gonna go get some holes drilled. Yeah, it's, uh, it's four below zero right now. So it is exceptionally warm out here and I'm super glad to be out enjoying some ice fishing. Now, before we get started, I do have a bit of a rant and parents, you might wanna cover your kids ears for this because I'm a little bit heated about it, I'm not gonna lie. So myself and Mr. Stash went out to this lake. We filmed the videos, obviously. Showed you guys exactly where to catch them here. Showed you guys exactly how I catch them here. Told you guys the depth I caught them. Told you guys what was working, what wasn't. How the fish were acting and everything. Now with my channel, I always try to listen to you guys as much as possible. I go through all the comments, I read what you guys want, what you like, what you don't like. And a recurring theme is that you guys want to learn more about fishing so you can go out and actually take things from my videos, use those on your fisheries and catch fish. I get comments and messages all the times that you've gone out and you caught your personal best because something you learned from my video, amazing. That's my favorite thing of all time. But let me tell you guys something that I don't appreciate that has happened to this lake right back here since we were here two weeks ago. Instead of people taking the techniques, the baits, the, the way that the fish reacted and, and, and the depth and everything that I tried to teach you from that video, instead of going and applying it to your fisheries or somewhere else, this place has been absolutely shit pounded in the exact same location. You can go out on this lake, it's hilarious. I've seen people on Facebook posting pictures. I went out here the other day to just see how many people would be out here. Every single person is in the exact same spot, doing the exact same thing that myself and Porn Stash did in the videos that we created here. So as a result, obviously, uh, a bunch of those smallmouth I know personally have uh, have been killed, have have hooks in their bellies right now, got gut hooked. Obviously, they're they're a lot more weary now since they've been fished for. Literally, this snow right here is from yesterday, and there's already been I don't know 15 or 20 vehicles here. First time we came here a couple weeks ago, there was literally four holes drilled on this lake. Came out here the other day, and there had been probably 50 or 60 shacks minimum set up precisely where we were fishing. So where I'm going with that is, you know, I'm gonna keep giving you guys as much information as possible. I'm gonna keep giving you guys as many techniques that you guys can go apply as possible. But if you take what I taught you, and instead of going out and learning something on your own and trying to apply them to your fisheries, and instead you just go out and try and fish all my spots that I've showed you I make videos on, I think that's pretty fucking weak. I realize that like finding the secret magical spot and asking people where the hot bite is and everything has become part of fishing culture. And honestly, as someone that wants to teach the game so you can go out and learn fishing on your own and have the most enjoyable time, have the gratification of catching your own fish, I think that's total bullshit. That's my damn rant, let's go catch some fish, woo! There you go, right there. Came to come out here on a weekday without someone here. I can tell you guys exactly where they'll go too. Over there? No. Maybe right here or right up there where there's been a million people since yesterday. Yeah. How we doing? I appreciate it, man. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the old aqua view. Yeah, man. All right, guys, we are set up. We're in about uh, 16 feet of water right here, similar to last time. And um, yeah, just pounded a bunch of holes. We're basically going to look around for any marks on the bottom because those are the big smallmouth generally. The stash man will be out here shortly, I believe. I got my little glider plastic jig that he gave me last time. I need to get more into these plastics. I want to kind of make some myself too. So yeah, basically we're just going to fish a bunch of holes and if we mark anything, Great. If not, move to the next one. Pop, pop. Hey, look who's here. Side angle. Side, yeah, you can't see it. The lighting's poor if you do it head on. Yeah, that's true. You ready to jerk your short sticks around? I guess. Catch a big one? I'm gonna try. I'm getting kind of sick of it at this point. <laughs> Especially this place, but. Seriously. I'm more sick of bluegills. <laughs> Much more sick. Hey, I got a fish off me. I should catch him. Get the old nips on. Might work better. All right. And he's got. No day of fishing is the same as the last, Ben. They always change. Things change. That's why you always go fish where we fished before. <laughs> this place is fucked up. My man, MF or Josh over there, caught us a crappie for, for me and Josh. So we're going to throw him on the old tipping up since you can't use live bait in here. 
unlike what everyone else does here that comes and poaches the spot. So yeah, crappie on a tip up for giant smallmouth. But you've never seen that in a video. Got him. Digging. I'll bear hug it. Oh! That's a good sign. Fuck. That was a tank. That looks big. Fucking big ass head shakes. It's all right, bud. Mm, I think my, uh, I don't think, I know my drag was way too loose when I set up. It just fucking peeled, but still, I got a good hook in him. What's up, guys? How's it going? No. Uh-uh. Yeah. Everyone else in North America was, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, you too. Yeah, good luck. What if they drill a hole like through the bottom of my sled? <laughs> you guys mind if we fish inside your sled? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Locally. Local disgrace is what <laughs> We're famous within the 200 person fishing community in Nebraska. <laughs> oh, please God. Not moving though. Well, it's spun enough to come off. Oh yeah, he got bit, dude. His face is fucked up. Oh yeah. Dude. It's not a bad thing. It's a really good thing. It's crazy because we now marked probably, I don't know, I marked eight or so fish and they are super, super finicky. You just gotta wiggle that bait right in their face. They're all within like a foot of the bottom. Like come up to your bait, go back down. Come up to your bait, go back down. And I finally had the one that bit came up and just barely just my rod tip went just down a hair and I lifted up on him. Apparently didn't get a good enough hook in him to keep him pinned, but part of the game, as we figured out, that you're gonna lose a lot. They're crafty and they're big and they come off and they fight hard. Got one, Josh! It's big! Get the net! It's a crappie. Damn you, crappie! Damn you! Well, could've been worse, guys. It could have been that guy right there. That uh, got slush up there. So everyone's been walking in from the parking lot, you know, cause there's been a million people fishing it. Someone definitely went in right there though. That's uh, that's sketchiness. Well, so far after uh, seven hours fishing on the day, the tally is one tiny crappie, uh, one small mouth, a big small mouth lost by me. And Joshua, the, the Mr. Stash, the porn stashman also lost a big smallmouth. Pretty bleak so far. We marked a lot of fish. We bounced around. We probably drilled close to 100 holes about every five feet the entire time, but all the fish we marked would come up to it. Just not that interested. You can clearly tell they are very, very pressured. I wonder why that would be. We're heading out. We're going to make a, a, I don't know, decent drive, 20 minutes or so. Oh, thanks, Josh. Get something, dickhead. Yay! In the parking lot. <laughs> Wasn't it really? God, I keep leaving everything in the parking lot. What an idiot. But anyways, we're uh, we're making a drive now, probably 20 minutes, half our way. We're gonna fish this little tiny pond we've never fished before, and hopefully that uh, salvages the day. You feeling good about it? You look like you're in a good mood. You feeling great? Honestly, I just want to catch even a bluegill at this point. I've been fishing forever and I haven't I caught anything. I think we can do it. One bluegill. That's the goal for the day now. One bluegill. <laughs> you bet! Thicker than the last one, huh? We're fishing today, bud. We're we fishing careful. today. More bait! Oh, me too! It's on fire! It's Fire Lake! Mine is a dadgum hammer schlogging. I'm buying property on this lake. Dude, when I set the hook, a piece of my reel broke off. I don't even know where it is. We got a fish at the new lake. Oh, dude, got him far. Oh, lost him at the hole. That one was the tank or something. Kind of like this guy. Try it! Okay, can you put the poles down, Josh? We found the spot. Oh, God. Doubles. Doubled up with bigs. Oh, another one! 
That one's the biggest one I've caught so far. He might be five. God, what a hook set. What a hook set. Pow. Damn you, bluegill. Damn you. Well, guys, we have given up officially on catching bluegill every time. We're going to throw the old uh, flashing, banging, jigging, spooning with the old shiner head combination because that's all I use. Long ago, catch bass out of this. Is this the one you wanted? Ah. <laughs> I don't want to walk and get it. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Well, you got to shoot. Oh, okay. I haven't Even played since I, I was two. <laughs> all right, here we go. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, paper, shoot. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, that's <laughs> bullshit. You cheated. Yeah! Well, Neffers, as you noticed in the video today, I am like mentally freaking over ice fishing. I'm just done with catching a little fish. I'm done with trudging through the freaking foot of snow and everything. I'm super passionate about fishing, more passionate than, than anything else. Um, but it's, it's just, it's mentally getting old. Now, as I edit this video, I want to go back and kind of clarify where I was going at the start of this video with the rant. Now, as I listened to it and watched, I realized I kind of sounded like a, maybe like a spoiled little bitch or a whiner or something like that. I just want to let you guys know, I love meeting MFers and, and anyone that loves to fish out on the water as much as possible. If you ever see me, I always tell you guys to say hi. Pretty much all of you guys do say hi and I always strike up a conversation we can talk fishing which is what we did on this day with some MFers. Totally jacked about that. Now I apologize because I feel like I maybe didn't do it in a positive manner but I want to let you guys know I personally do think it's a problem in the fishing community. Um, guys poaching spots, guys seeing backgrounds and pictures and going places and I'm okay with going to fish somewhere that if you know there's a lake where there's a certain type of fish or if you know there's a good bite somewhere and you hear it from some hey there's a good bite at and uh, Lake Fork right now, that's fine. Go go fish Lake Fork, go fish wherever. But this is a kind of a specific instance where it's a little pond with a fish species that we hardly have anywhere else in Nebraska. And upon us creating this video, we went from no one fishing it to it's fished so much that people actually fell through the ice because so many people have walked on the slushy ice uh, and the fish are nearly impossible to catch now, of course, because everyone's gone there. So I think opening a line of communication about this problem in the community is the first way to start. I have a big platform and a big audience, so I'd like to open that up a little bit. I'm fully, fully aware that it comes with the territory of me going out and filming uh, and having a lot of people watch. That's a great thing. I can't say that I want a lot of people to watch my videos. But I don't want a lot of people to go try to catch fish where I fish. I'm not saying that. I totally get that. I understand it. But I want to teach the game to a bigger audience in a better, more honest fashion than anyone ever has. That's my objective and my goal. So it sucks when instead of learning these these tactics that I teach you guys, that instead you just look at the backgrounds of every lake I'm fishing to go fish it and uh, pretty much tell everyone you know or freaking I don't even know. So many people told so many people the lake sucks now. And it does have a major effect. Like when you're out there and you're seeing people throwing tip-ups with live bait and they don't know what they're doing and they're breaking their line off and because they don't have know how to tie knots and then there's hooks in fish's bellies or they gut hook them because they're using live bait there, which you can't use live bait at that lake. It just sucks. So it's 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 rough to see that at that fishery. Biggest takeaway for me is as I like grew up and learned how to tournament fish and, and kind of fish that way. One thing I learned is you can't just go watch videos and you can't go read articles and just go do the exact thing. You have to go out on the water, um, on new bodies of water that you're unfamiliar with and learn how the fish react to different stuff in different situations. That's how you're going to learn. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep teaching you guys as much as I've learned and as much as I learn along the way. And I seriously love you having you guys there and I'd love to meet as many of you as possible. So just want to clear that up a little bit. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This video, I'll catch you on another video tomorrow. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.